Robin, I'll let you finish your thought, man, because this was, it seems like it's a very interesting track that you're taking. Go ahead. Uh, it is. And uh, Carl actually was going to have a hearing before the state police commission back in May of last year. The only reason it didn't happen is people who were subpoenaed from state police didn't show up. Now, that is when the national media did come down here. I stood right beside CNN cameras. So they knew at that point that this thing was going to garner a lot of attention. So I, I believe based on that, they decided it was in their best interest to offer Carl a settlement to end this matter. And so they offered him $200,000, but it carried the stipulation that he could never again work for state police. I want to commend Carl that he recorded phone calls with his then attorney, uh, Jill Kraft, who's a very prominent attorney down here. And I want to thank him for providing me with those recordings. You can go to a sound off Louisiana Post and listen to them. But the bottom line is Carl re repeatedly said that, look, I don't like this. I mean, I'm getting barely anything because Jill was going to get 80000 of the 200000 Uh And so she kept insisting to him, look, it's never going to be better, any better than this, Carl. I've been doing this 32 years. This is one of the highest offers I've ever gotten. She said, if it wound up in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, that's stacked with judges who don't give an S about civil rights. That's a verbatim quote from Jill Kraft. Uh, she said, the State Police Commission, I mean, can you really trust those people? You're not going to get your job back. So basically, his new attorneys say that he got browbeat, that's their word, not mine, uh, into accepting this settlement. And he immediately wanted to rescind the settlement or the offer, let me put it that way. Uh, and they have, when I say they, I mean state police and, and the state of Louisiana, they are trying to literally force him to accept this $200,000 and be done with it. Um, and, and his new attorneys have filed a motion to reopen the cause and let him uh, take his shot in court and also give him a chance before the state police commission to get his job back. Uh, his, attorney, his former attorney has filed a complaint in federal court to intervene saying, hey, look, whatever happens on any of all this, I better make sure I get paid. I'm, I mean, I'm paraphrasing. It's a long filing, but that's basically what it says. So that's where things stand right now. The judge has not set a formal hearing uh, to, to resolve that matter. I will say this. I've consulted with two very, very knowledgeable attorneys who say the whole thing was botched on October the 6th. It was a Zoom meeting, um, and he said when that concluded, they should have gone into open court and openly stated on the record exactly what had been agreed to here. That wasn't done, and so the whole situation is in a state of flux, um, but that's that's the latest twist, and if anybody wants yeah. to go to South off Louisiana to listen to those recordings, they are fascinating recordings that Carl did with his previous attorney. Yeah.